What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and for today's weekend news video, we have some massive news for you guys today. Apparently, Edge has revealed his retirement plans? Wonder what that's about. But before we talk about that, if you guys are new to, to the channel, and you guys love the content, love this type of content, and you guys want to see more in the future, Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. If you guys want to send fan mail, the info will be in the description as well. And also too guys, make sure you guys check out the community tab. I posted a few posts on there, including one from... Including, including one one yesterday where I showed off the list of cards I needed for for my Dark World deck which again if you guys do have have those cards message me on on Instagram link is in is in the is in the description. Um so it's so you guys know that Edge made a massive return um in the twenty twenty uh men's men's um uh, Royal Rumble match, and you guys know that nine years prior he he had to retire uh, due to neck injuries, but he decided to return for his second run in WWE, which is awesome, by the way. Um, that moment now is like clo is like close to being three is almost three years old, and there's been a lot of people who are asking. How how long will it last? How long will will this run last? Is he gonna remain in WWE for another year or so? We don't know. That's what I'm. That's and that question is what we are going to answer in today's video because he teased to 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 the WWE uh, universe in Toronto early this year, sometime in the summer, that um. That he was going to retire in Toronto next year, uh, which only ramped up a lot of a, a lot of uh, speculation of Edge retiring. So we don't really know. Um, but he did speak on he 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 spoke to the Nation Network. Big shout out, no copyrights as always. Sorry guys, sorry guys, I'm still sick from 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 the other day. Um, it's gonna be a few. It's gonna be a while before this sore throat go, goes away, so, so, I do hum humbly apologize, but, he spoke to the Nation Network, big shout out, no copyrights as always, uh, and he was asked about, uh, why he made the, the announcement to the crowd in Toronto, um, about, about his goals in, in, in his career, and he said, quote, Sorry guys, I feel like I'm about to belch. Um, anyway, he said, quote, That's the key. The first time I was told, you gotta hang it up. That's it, you're done. It was WrestleMania. I retired world champ. And that sounds, that sounds Cinderella, but I just didn't know. That made it hard to chew on all those, chew on all those years, but I had to accept it and move on with, with what life is now. I gotta start... I got to start an amazing, beautiful family. And the acting thing started to kind of take off a little bit. But when I had the chance to get this back, the first thing I thought is, I want to retire in Toronto because, again, I know the window is not open for long. But if I can do it there, I think then I'll be able to do it right. I'm good. That was the last thing to kind of check off. I didn't come back to win four more championships or anything like that. I really just came back to have fun, try to help teach the, a new generation of talent that I never got my hand, hands on before. I always say, I call us, I call us storytellers. I always intended to come back and tell, tell, tell a hell of a story for three or four more, for for three or four years, and then right off into the sunset. 
Um, and for those who don't know, Edge's last match in WWE was actually back at back back at Extreme Rules. Uh, excuse me, uh, last month against uh, Finn Balor, where he lost an I Quit match, and the reason why was because of Beth Phoenix. Um, you know, Beth Phoenix got involved, Judgment Day got involved. It was just insane. Um, um, and for and and uh, Edge was was recently announced for for an upcoming for the upcoming Percy Jackson and the Olympians Disney Plus series, which that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, also, too, uh, Paige as well. Or right now in AEW, I don't watch AEW it's just from what I've seen on social media. But her actual name of Soraya, Paige is actually um, actually did the exact same thing several years ago, and. Uh, he and she made her return uh, last night at at their uh, big pay per view uh, full gear. Which, uh, from what from what I've seen on social media, I guess now I guess now they have a new world champion. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't watch I don't watch AEW. But from what I've seen from from the clips that I've seen on Instagram on, on my phone, um. I guess William Regal turned heel, turned his back on uh, on Dean Ambrose, and uh, I guess it might be a sign that he's that he'll leave, he'll be leaving AEW. I couldn't tell you. I don't watch AEW, but that's just my my, my assumption. Um, but yeah, honestly, this really doesn't this really do, doesn't uh, surprise me because um, Edge has had one has had one of the greatest. Uh, careers in, in WWE. People don't know how how good he is. Literally, no one knows how good he is. Um, he is literally by far um, by far one of the greatest talents of not just of the Attitude Era, but of the Ruthless Aggression Era, the PG Era, and the current era in WWE. You know, he's he's been he has won championships in you know across across three decades, three decades, which is amazing. I'm surprised that that he hasn't been been champion in champion in in, in this decade, but it is it is it is what it is, but. <coughs> But, um, but, um, also to you guys, if you guys, again, hear, hear, hear me coughing, don't worry about it, it's not, it's not COVID, it's not, it's not COVID or anything, it's just, it's just a sore throat, and, uh, something on the inside of my throat, like, right in the back of my throat is, like, enlarged a little bit, so, don't worry, it's not COVID, I'm, I'm okay, it's not COVID, but, um, but if you look, but going back with Edge, if you look at his accomplishments, not just in WWE, but just in but just in wrestling in general. Um, you know he won. You know he's won award. He's won so many awards over over the years, including including the Baltimore Suns' uh, best feud of the of the decade, which was with John Cena. Um, he won the CWA Canadian Wrestling Association North American title. He won the. This is so this is so weird. The Cauliflower Alley Club, um, um, Men's Wrestling Award in 2013, CBS Sports Best Moment of the Year in 2020, which obviously was his return to WWE, um, and then of course Promo of the Year, which was uh, him uh, putting Randy Orton on notice on Raw. Um, I think it was like right before WrestleMania. Uh, when it was when COVID happened and everything went to shit, literally. Even now, it's still going going to shit. Um, <sighs> um he won the ICW, uh, in the Insane Championship Wrestling uh, Street Fight Tag Team Titles. Twice, one with Christian Cage and one with Joe E. Legend. Um, 
Um, I guess in WWE, he was known as, uh, Just Joe. So, uh, yeah. Oof. So, yeah. Um, he also won the MW, the MWCW Tag Team House with Joe E. Legend. Um, he also won the Luthez Award as well. Uh, I, I guess he was inducted into the Luthez, uh, Hall of Fame, I guess. Uh, Pro Wrestling Il Illustrated won so many awards. Comeback of, of the Year 2004. Feud of the Year 2005 with Lita and Matt Hardy. 2006 with John Cena. Match of the Year with Christian against the Dudleys and the Hardys at WrestleMania 16. Which was the that triangle uh, ladder match. Which was a very weird matchup. Very weird. Should They should have just call, called it a ladder match. But it is what it is. Um, match of the Year 2001 with Christian against the Hardys and the Dudleys in a TLC, which was uh, TLC number two, which they they, they called it uh, TLC num uh, TLC two, um, which was uh, at at WrestleMania X seven, uh, most hated wrestler of the year 2006, most improved wrestler of the year 2001. Inspirational Wrestler of the Year 2021. Uh, ranked number two of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2007. Um, Tokyo Pro Wrestling CCW Tag Team Champion with Ken Johnson. Um, and then, of course, won, won, won the tournament with, with said Johnson um, in 98, which was pretty cool. And then, of course, in WWE, former, a four-time, oh my god, a four-time WWE champion, five-time, sorry, seven-time world heavyweight champion, making him an 11-time champion, um, five-time intercontinental champion, former, U, former WCW US champion, um, Two-time WWE Tag Team Champion with Rey Mysterio and Chris Jericho. World Tag Team Champion 12 times. Seven with Christian. One with Hulk Hogan. Two with Chris Benoit, if you guys remember him. One with Randy Orton. And then one with Chris Jericho. So 12, 14-time Tag Team Champion. So he's about on, on, on the same level as Kofi when it comes to being a Tag Team Champion. So that's pretty cool. Um, 2001 King of the Ring, 2005 Money in the Bank, first ever. Um, uh, won the Bragging Rights Trophy in 2010 with Smack Team SmackDown, which featured himself, Big Show, Rey Mysterio, Jack Swagger, Alberto Del Rio, Kofi Kingston, and Tyler Rex, which was pretty awesome. Um, two-time... Two-time Royal Rumble winner, 2010 and 2011. Sorry, sorry, 2020, 2010, 2021. Sorry, uh, Gold Rush Tournament, 2005. Uh, the uh, 2008 Championship Chase Tournament. He's the 14th Triple Crown Champion, third Grand Slam Champion. Um. Uh, 2012 Hall of Famer, four-time Slam uh, Slammy Award winner, won for Couple of the Year with Vicky Guerrero in 2008. 2010 Oh Snap Meltdown of the Year, destroying the 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 anonymous Raw GM's uh, laptop, and then of course return and then of course return return and return and robbery of the year 2020 uh, with Randy Orton return of the year, him coming back and then robbery of the year was with Randy Orton, hell of a rivalry between be, uh, between those two, and then of course the Wrestling Observer uh, newsletter match of the year 2002 with Rey Mysterio. Against Kurt Angle and Benoit and No Mercy. Tag Team of the Year 2000 with Christian. Worst Feud of the Year against Kane in 2020. Sorry, 2010. Um, and then, of course, Worst Worked Match of the Year 2008, which was against Vladimir Kozlov and Triple H, a Survivor Series, which was not good. So, if you look at just all those accomplishments alone, and you look at... And you look at some of his other some some of his other work, you know, as, as far as like TV, as far as like movies go, he's been a part of movies such as 
such as such as uh, Beyond the Mat, um, High, um, Highlander Endgame, Bending the Rules, which I do remember that one, which was kind of stupid, Dumb Luck, Interrogation, um, which was which featured uh, both him and Lana, and then of course Money Plane, which was his most. Uh, Which was his most his most uh, recent um, uh, movie that he did, which was in uh, which actually was released um, sometime sometime in twenty twenty, which was pretty cool. Um, you know, and 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 then of course too, you know, on TV, you know, when it comes to TV shows, he's he did uh, he did uh, uh, the weakest link uh, the minute. Uh, Let's see, uh, Ministry of Mayhem, Mind of Menica, I probably butchered that one, uh, Deal, Deal or No Deal, Mad TV, uh, Sanctuary, Haven, which he did, um, which he did, like, what, four, five, five seasons, I think, if I remember correct, uh, Ghost Mine, The Flash, uh, Canada Reads, Private Eyes, Bookaboo, which, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vikings, Trailer Park Boys, the animated series, uh, and of course, Percy Jackson and the, and the Olympians, which, um, he'll be doing that one, um, um, in 20, wow, ne oh, wow, two years from now, okay. Uh, music videos, he was a part of, uh, Dwight, Dwight Hendrickson's, uh, Song Destroy, or actually, um, actually, sorry, In Flight Safety's song "Destroy" was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so he's done so much for you know he's he's done so much, not just in WWE but just like outside of WWE. And the question is, is um, is it right for him to to retire? Yes, I think sometime in, in the next year or so, he's done because. Even though he's had a couple of opportunities at Roman Reigns and the and the and the Universal Title, there was no shot he was ever going to be champion. And excuse me. And I think his time in WWE is just about up. Um, because the longer he stayed. And I'm not saying this to hurt to hurt anybody's feelings, but even you guys know, the longer he's the longer he's he stays in WWE, the the higher the 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 higher his the higher he will risk breaking his neck again because having triple fusion neck surgery means that you're gonna be you're, you're gonna be on sh real borrow times because even after um. Because even after you know Edge had had neck surgery the first time around, um, he he even admitted that he was on he he admitted in various interviews um, and even in that promo the night after WrestleMania, uh, excuse me, in 2011 that he knew he he was on borrowed time. So so the longer he stays, the the worse it's it's gonna be. Honestly, as much as I don't want, as much as I don't want to see Edge retire, I think it's, I think it's awesome because for 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 him to, for him to retire retire potential potentially as as a champion, I wouldn't mind seeing that. But for him to retire in, in his hometown would just be would be just would just be bittersweet justice for him. But guys, that's gonna do it for for this video. Actually, that brings me to the question of the day. Who do you guys want Edge to compete against in his last match in WWE? Let me know down in the comments below. And that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more, more WWE news videos in the future, which get posted every Thursday and sometimes on weekends, Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. 
It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.